is implemented to stop the election in Gafra land for the very first time in the history. My Biafra people, together we will liberate our people from the shackle of bondage of Fulani slave chain. In 2023, we will make history. We are going to stand shoulder to shoulder. We are going to stand shoulder by shoulder we are going to stand with each other irrespective of the blackmail. We will stand against this election. And believe me, it will be the beginning of the end. We understand that different ethnic nationalities have filed several petitions and joint suit for the referendum for Nigeria and the ethnic nationality to decide whether they want to be part of Nigeria or not. As long as this particular process is over, the Biafra people are going to take their advantage. It does not matter whether we believe in the judiciary of this evil entity called Nigeria or not. We will take this advantage and we are going to wait until the day of their election is announced and we are going to follow and put our measure what we are going to do to make sure the election don't take place in Biafra land. On this note, we tell the African people, we are informing you this evening to begin to save for the days ahead. Those of you who come to, con con to convince you and deceive you about making sure you vote in 2023, tell them, in 2023, you are going to sacrifice your vote for Biafra to come. Look at our shop. Nothing come out. What should army come and do in our land? After you people will be sending us one Nigeria. Which one Nigeria? Which one Nigeria can you tell me now that I will believe? Look at my shop, nothing come out. Even people's property. Is that not what they are saying now? They are not telling you we are Fulani. No more Hausa Fulani. What does that tell you? That the Hausa race no longer exists. Do you want the same thing to happen to you? Do you want the same thing to happen to your families? To your villages? Do you want your towns, let's say Ogomosho, to be renamed into a Fulani name? Do you want Hanesha to answer a Fulani name? Forget all the nonsense about unity of Nigeria. All they are uniting against is your common interest. Unless you prefer epileptic um, a power supply, unless you prefer to live your whole life without running water, unless you want to live in a...
this hasn't been completed. Now they have completed it. Have they not completed it? Then what is happening right now? I ask you what is happening now. Fulani have now come out to tell you we are Fulani people. Is that not what they are saying now? They are not telling you we are Fulani. No more house are Fulani. What does that tell you? That the house of race no longer exists. Do you want the same thing to happen to you? Do you want the same thing to happen to your families? To your villages? Do you want your towns, let's say Gomosho, to remain due to your Fulani name? Do you want Tunisia to answer a Fulani name? Forget all the nonsense about unity of Nigeria. All they are uniting against is your common interest. Unless you prefer epileptic um, a power supply, unless you prefer to live your whole life without running water, unless you want to live in abject poverty and deprivation, your only alternative is a revolution. Let nobody discourage you. All the countries of the world doing very, very well. They all went through a revolution you must go through it. If you don't go through it, you can never ever survive. As a people, Fulani will take you over. As simple as that. This very day, we are making it known to the whole world that the Muslim extremist dictatorship masquerading as a secular democratic government must be demolished. It must be demolished for you to survive. They have to be demolished. If you do not demolish them, your lives will end very, very miserably. I assure you. I assure you. The zoo is on its knees. Everybody knows that the zoo called Nigeria is on its knees. Who doesn't know that? Everybody knows. Nothing is functioning. You are all aware of it. When they say go and register for NIM or whatever, no NIM or whatever rubbish is called, all of you took out without legislation, without any laws. Fulani can control you however they like. Once they announce it, the Yoruba newspapers very foolishly and stupidly will support them because they want to as the president. And you are all dying every day. You are all dying every day. Had you people risen up to say that what is happening in Nigeria is bad, there is no way that Pastor Randy's daughter will not be alive today. That is the price you pay for duplicity. That is the price you pay for treachery. That is the price you will continue to pay until you rise up and say enough is enough. It is up to you to do it. You did it during NSARS. You can do it again. Can you imagine Fulani people telling you if you remove Fulanis from your back forest? Imagine Fulani telling you if you remove them from your ancestral lands, there will be war and you are panicking. And you have not asked yourself, this. why are they not saying the same thing about the East? Why did they not say to the Eastern Security Network? Why did they not say to me, if you don't stop evacuating Fulani terrorists from the forest, there will be war? Because they know, they understand psychologically that you don't have what it takes to resist them. Do you know why Brony State is still alive? Why you still have the Kanuri people in Brony today? Was because they resisted the Fulani centuries ago. You have to go back to history to understand how Nigeria came into existence. Fulani has been expanding from day one, from Senegambia. All the way from Senegambia, they've been expanding, 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 and now they are in Okiwe. All the way from Senegambia. They are now in Okiwe. And you're asking us to somehow fold our hands and keep quiet because of 2023, because one idiot is going to come out to become a president because of that rubbish, because of that nonsensical notion we should fold our hands and wait until we are overrun by the danger group from the Sahel. Is that how reasonable people think? Is that how people that wish to survive as a race, is that how they reason? It is very, very shocking that some of you do not understand what the foreigners have in store for you. Very, very soon it is going to happen. And when it happens, your eyes will clear. And about whom you will see it very clearly. I was warning you in 2014, 2015, 2016. They said he's a warmonger. He's a, he's a warmonger. 